Hey everybody, we are the Globe Guys, and this is Venice, and that is a Hilton Molino Stucky. Hey everyone, and welcome to the Globe Guys, and welcome to the Hilton Molino Stucky here in the beautiful city of Venice. This is going to be our home for the next three days, and we're staying in a King executive room, and this is it. So you can tell with the decor that it looks very, very Venice-like, very Venetian, um, you know, quite old-fashioned, not normally our style, but it is very fitting of the city that we're in. So nice, big, comfy bed there. And then you've got a TV, Samsung, a bit of a work desk going on. We've stayed in a few Hiltons as well since uh, COVID and they've got their clean stay policy. So now when you come into an hotel room or one of their hotel rooms, everything's been sanitized right down to the remote control. And even the mini bar's got a clean stay sticker on it. I can't get in it. <laughs> oh, okay. So, hang on. Is it locked? Must be locked. Okay. We must have to ask for the key. Yeah. Well, we'll see. There you go. Just proves that it's live. <laughs> um, I quite like that, actually. The cab that, because you know, I like the cabinet, the cabinet nice. is quite nice. I like yeah, that, I do. Yeah. Yeah. So, you've got a reasonable amount of storage, especially because we're only staying here for three days. We've got drawers and you've got the iron, and it's a steam iron, which is always good. <laughs> Ironing board. Then you've got the bathroom. It's got quite a lot of floor space in the bathroom. For a second, I thought we'd got a Japanese style uh, toilet, but it's not. But you have actually got the spray there. Uh, it's not quite as uh, modern as a Japanese toilet. So if you're interested about seeing what a Japanese toilet looks like, take a look at our Hilton review in Tokyo that we did um, a few years ago. Uh, work top, workspace. No his and his um, sinks, unfortunately. We always like his and his sinks so we can get ready at the same time. Uh, big downside, it's one of those handheld showers that hang over the bath. Not the best, but we'll have to see what the pressure's like. I'm desperately in need of a nice, strong, shower. powerful shower. Because our last hotel in Sorrento, the shower was rubbish. Anyway, so I mentioned that, you know, it's you know, this, um, this room is full of Venetian splendor. And they do actually do in this hotel a more modern room uh, called the Molino Premium. However, we chose not to do that because we wanted something else as part of our room package. And this is what we wanted. Beautiful view, Venice.
We're at the end of our trip here in beautiful Venice and as always we're going to end our hotel review with our thoughts about our stay. Now I actually quite like the hotel, it's uh, your standard Hilton property, the room is very Venetian, I do quite like the room actually, even though the um, the more updated rooms look quite nice as well. Yeah they do. But they weren't available on an executive um, rate. That's right, yeah. We said um, that in the opening, didn't we? Yeah. But from a location point of view, yeah, it's it's not in the centre of Venice. You do have to get either the boat bus or the shuttle boat over to the centre of Venice, but it's not far away. It's maybe about 10 minutes on the boat. It, yeah, it's, yeah, it's 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 not. It's it's just a little. It's just it, it, it just can make any journey to that feel like a little bit longer because you've got a 10 minute walk to the boat bus. So that's 10 minutes of us walking. Then you've got a, I don't know 15 minutes on the boat across to St Marks, and then you, then obviously wherever you're going from there. And at night, we know it's after midnight, we, we, the boats go to us 20 minutes. And um, depending upon where you've gone, what, what if you end up in a bar or a restaurant, what, what part of Venice, you know, it can take a little while to get the right boat back to the right stop, do you know what I mean? But remember, up until around 11 o'clock, you do have the shuttle boat that the hotel, provide, that the hotel provides. We do. However, it's eight euros 50 per person each way. Each way per ride, yeah. So, you know, that could easily add up. Whereas we got a three day um, public transport pass for the city of Venice, which cost 40 euros each. Yeah. Um, and you know, we have been in some Hilton hotels, such as one in, in Bangkok, where the uh, shuttle boat has actually been provided as part of the room rate. Just a way for them to make money in the yeah. end of the day, there's no dressing it up, is there? But remember, you know, it's, it's a big hotel, it's probably one of the biggest hotels in Venice. Uh, so with that comes a lot of facilities, so there are several restaurants and there are several bars. However, we found that on the evening there'd only be one bar open, which is the Sky Bar, which is a great bar. However, it would have been nice if the lobby bar was open. Because last night the weather was really bad, so we stayed in the hotel. Um, and it was quite hard to get a drink. Well, it was, yeah, the lobby bar closed at 8 o'clock um, and you were only left with the Sky Bar. We went up to the Sky Bar, there was nobody in it, you know, and... Um, yeah, so you were quite limited. But remember, you know, we're in times of COVID at the moment and one of the more obvious uh, changes to the way things are done in a hotel is breakfast. So no longer are you able to just um, get your own breakfast at a buffet. It has to be served a la carte. Um, and we do have some criticism about that, don't we? We do. Um, yeah. So we, we've, we've, stayed, we've been here for three nights and every single day we've not got what we asked for. We've had to chase them and ask potentially, in some cases, I mean, Sunday was particularly bad. Um, they, they just were overwhelmed by the, the, the volume of people who wanted breakfast. We had to queue to get in. And you can live with that, That's, that can sometimes happen. You know, we were, we were then put in an overflow restaurant that they actually just basically put up just for us and a few other guests. Um, we then, proceeded to order but we just didn't get what we asked for we had to ask again and we had to ask again um, and every single day three days on the run uh, we've not got what we asked for we've had to chase them and today it wasn't busy um, there was, wasn't really any reason for it at all today um, but yet again they forgot stuff you know we're not, we're not talking complicated things here we're saying fruit salad and yogurt and some cereal you know and you'll get two of the three you won't get the third <laughs> there has been other times during our stay where things have felt like they were perhaps a little bit short staffed and again that might be just purely because of Covid and I think it'd be really interesting to come back to some of these hotels that we've been staying in um, during this um, coronavirus um, pandemic just to see whether it was just the virus that caused some of the yeah. I guess the bugbears that we have about the hotels. Yeah, the it, it's, you know, I'm, you know I'm, I'm trying to remain really balanced and, and accept that things are different during Covid and make allowances for that. Um, you know, and this, this, as Ryan says, the check-in, the, the, there's one person on the check-in desk and today we were caught, or check-out desk, and we were caught because there was a, a, a couple that had a, a query and we were she, waiting there for about 15, 15 minutes. 15 plus minutes and uh, they had a query on the bill and for, I don't know what the query was, but obviously that held up what was four people behind them um, and we ended up having to wait. Um, and eventually the concierge kind of came over and, 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 and let us check out that way but um, yeah and it's well it is definitely a staffing thing yeah. um, 
you and, know. And talking about build queries as well, we actually got our bill and there was items on the bill that we'd not even had. No, because Miranda said to me, oh, why don't we use Express Checkout? And I said, no, I want to I check the bill. Um, and I'm good job, really. I, I mean, yeah. Absolutely. You know, we, we charged us for shuttle boats. We never even took them. We charged us for internet, but we're, um, we get internet free. Um, and they charged us for a telephone call, never made one. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's like, what? You know, um, I mean, we're not talking loads of money, but it's just a principle of it, you know what I mean? So. But anyway, the hotel itself, yeah, it's, it's a nice hotel. Location, relatively good. The good thing about it being slightly out of the city centre is you're across the water, you've got some fantastic views of Venice. Yeah. So if you are thinking about staying here, it's a really nice hotel. I think there's just some elements of the service let it down slightly on this particular stay. Maybe next time when uh, when you're here, maybe it will be totally different. But who what knows? I'd say is, you know, we, we always ask ourselves, would we come back here? And yes, we would, because as Ryan says, I think you know, be keen to be keen, be keen to see it in normal times to see whether that was any different. Um, you know, so we would definitely give this hotel another go, by, without a shadow of a doubt, really. It's got you all know. the facilities you need it does. from a big hotel in a beautiful city. It um, and it has a rooftop pool as well, which yeah. we couldn't see because uh, it was closed. Um, but apparently that's yeah. spectacular as well. So you've got the sky bar and the rooftop pool. So again, yeah, because yeah, the rooftop pool is only up between May and May in the summer September, time. Thing, and, and, you know, so it's, it's got a lot going for it. Yeah. You know, and the view as you've seen from our room was just spectacular, wasn't it? It, was. it really was. And we could not have asked for a better room with a better view. To be fair, you know, so it absolutely ticked the yeah. box in that respect. It's just the service element that just it's just fallen down just that just a bit. Yeah. Anyway, we're off to our next destination now and yep. our next hotel. So thanks for watching this particular hotel with you. If it's been helpful and if you liked uh, any of our videos, then why not subscribe to us and that way you'll get all the content whenever we put, uh, put it onto YouTube. And you can also follow us on uh, Facebook as well. Yeah. Okay, and uh, our website is going to distract people from walking fast. Uh, our website, www.theglobeguys.com and uh, yeah check it out we also run a digital business so um, if you want to find out about how we manage to travel the world and run a digital business at the same time then check that out on our website as well so we're off to florence and pisa now so thanks for watching have a good day ciao